panel layouts. So we'll create here a panel layout 2D. Panel layout 2D are created with a specific page type called panel layouts. This is where we start. So let's create a new page for the panel layout. Page 1 equal F1 plus P slash 1. Type panel layout and the scale 1 to 5. There we go. That's the first thing we do. Second thing we do is we insert a mounting panel. This mounting panel represents basically the backplate. So here I'll just call it backplate. That's the name of this area here. I can even make sure that I can see this here. Uh, fair and straight, this is my backplate. Now, the backplate itself, we actually would like a rectangle. I can make it specifically the size I want, so the width 741. Uh, the height is exactly 1145. These are dimensions I basically took from my manufacturer. So I reposition it, and now I'm ready to place my components. To place components, you actually open here the so-called project data part slash device 2D panel layout navigator. You can see your backplate. Nothing is on the backplate yet. And here you see different components. Let's start with the, here, with the... Uh, G215 component. Now what is this? This is a Phoenix contact power supply. The Phoenix contact power supply has some parts information and behind the scene the parts information has some size and a specific macro or image file that is associated to it. Right? You can see it here. Now when you place the component the reaction depends on how your setting is done. So if you want to place your components horizontally, vertically, this is where you set it up. Uh, you want to place them with a handle on the middle left hand side. That's perfect. And the dimensions or the macros are to be taken over from the parts database. When you do so, you drag and drop the component. A perfect square with the right size matches here and as soon as it's dropped onto the backplate, you can see that within the backplate here, the same component is placed. And here, of course, this component, when you double click on it, you can see, okay, in the display, I'm just displaying the legend item because it picked up the legend item number one. Okay, if I place another device, let's say here I take a circuit breaker that is just a square, place this one right next to it. This CR picks up legend item number two, and it goes on and on. Now, when you're placing devices, you can also place multiple devices at the same time. So you can actually place these devices all at the same time. Just drag and drop them over. Once you place them, once you place the first one, the next one, you just have to press enter, 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 enter. And it ePlan will basically position these components right away for you. Now, you may not like of course the position of the device tag itself you may have to go here in the display and say I'd prefer having it top center outside okay perfect top center outside it will be um, or you can copy and paste copy here and paste it onto all the devices and then they all look the same and that's just basically plain graphics very similar to what you learned before these are components of course that are to be placed one next to each other Sometimes, like the PLCs, you will be placing here the rack first, and on this rack, you'll be placing the different other components. So you'll be placing the uh, power supply that goes somewhere here, then you'll be placing the PLC, like the, uh, the, 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 the processor, and then you'll be placing this PLC card that goes right next to it, and the next one. So these ones, these get actually placed one on top of each other. Of course, the information that you had before, you can also paste on those ones like that, and then you can see the different names of the components. Now, this in 2D is pretty much what we have. We can see if it fits. And anything else, like uh, the um, uh, wire docks or whatever, these are just basically plain graphics you'll be placing in here, right? These graphics, of course, we have things like fill surface, and we'll make it nice but it's basically plain graphics that you're adding into it. This is what you have to know on the panel layout.